Alright, this is one of four male silver lavender glows. What a silver lavender glow is, is a, a silver, which is a, uh, a dominant gene. Uh, we've never proven out a super. Then the orange tail hypo, and then the boa basement line lavender albinos that popped out here in 2010. So this is a little male born on April 20th, 2020. He's number 2001. And all we have at this point is a two-year-old female, which we'll show in an updated video of her, just to show the amazing progression of color and the lavenders coming in her size and everything else. Uh, the broken up pattern is what happens just when we breed an orange cell hypo to a silver. So we know that now. This so that is on the lavender albino platform. So the, these are these are powerhouses. These are animals that have never been offered for sale. Period. With this combination, uh, I did a big big deal last year and got rid of one female lavender albino and one female lavender glow, which is an orange shell hypo lavender albino. Again, you're going to hear a lot. Boa basement line. This is my stuff. This is not the purple sharp muttered up stuff with the cayenne and sharp strains. This has nothing to do with that. Never did. And if anybody tells you otherwise, don't ever do business with those people because they couldn't tell the truth that their life depended on it. So, male, silver, lavender glow, 2001, born April 20th, 2020. This is male, silver, lavender glow, number 2002, born May 7th. 2020 uh, male number one uh, was father is a hypo het boa basement lavender line albino female silver het lavender uh, boa basement lavender line albino okay well you, you get the point it's my stuff no one else's uh, so this one number two um, Uh, father was a normal het lavender albino, and mom is an orange cell hypo silver het lavender albino. And you're going to see great variations in these four boys, and in all of them, it, everything, you know, they're like fingerprints. They're all they're all different. They all just are incredible. This one is very very nice. Um, can, couldn't tell you, oh, does that mean there's going to be more color in it as an adult? Don't know. We don't have an adult yet, and even if I had a single adult, I, I got enough integrity to say we don't know how each one's going to look. But I'm going to tell you this, they're going to look amazing. I will stand on that. <laughs> they're going to be incredible looking adults and fantastic genetic powerhouses for anything. This is the key, not this particular combination with silver and hypo in it, but just the lavender albino alone. To me, once I get IMG and Motley involved in single animals with the, the, the lavender albino, we will be making, as far as I'm concerned, pure purple boa constrictors in the, in the future with red eyes. So male number two, born May 7th, 2020. All right, this is male 2003, also born May 7, 2020. Uh, same father and mother is male 2002. So you can already tell the difference in, in coloration and stuff in these animals. But, I mean, they're so young, guys. That, uh, you know, they're not even three months old yet. Well, as a matter of fact, uh, three months old today. Today is August 7th. So there you go, three-month birthday. What are they going to look like a year from now? Spectacular. Two years from now, even better. So, just just amazing pieces. Male 2003, and we'll let Nick do a little panning. And this is number 4, 2004. Say mom and dad is 2002 and 2003. 
just let Nick get some nice close-ups of another beautiful example. And with all these boys and with any of the male uh, lavender albino, lavender glows, which are orange tail hypo, lavender albino, and these spectacular silver lavender glow, which are silver orange tail hypo, lavender albinos, I, uh, there will be an opportunity if somebody wants to get one of these. I do have some uh, virgin female uh, hats that have just been sitting here for years because the way the ratio originally came out, uh, I was I had double the amount of females and all I've ever used is the original four females that are to the original males, four male hats that have been making all this stuff since 2018, 2019 and now 2020. So, all you have to do is grow up a boy and you could be making these things in your very first breeding.